Greetings. Today I got uh, some feedback, um, one about the uh, frequency harmony key that he sent me a picture of. It's really funny. Uh, and it's been quite some time that he's had it. And also about the dish organite. So I thought I'd make a video because the feedback is pretty amazing. Um, this is, uh, well, you'll see. <laughs> So this is me here uh, saying something and then, oh, okay, you got to see this. I'm saying something here and he's, he's actually wrote this down. He says, I sincerely believe this piece has some kind of pick me up to it. When I wear it, I feel better. It helps me heal faster from things like hangovers. Wow. <laughs> I didn't know that one. Uh, and more. How does it work? And can I get another version? What makes yours work? Does it have something to do with my biofield? And so I answered um, in here. I'm just going to run it so I don't have to speak it again. Hopefully it'll work. It should. Good morning. I hope it's not too early for you. Um, it works because the frequency of this particular key, the harmony key, um, is made to um, numb the pain and then your body recovers faster. It also works because you resonate with that frequency. And the third point, why it works, it's made very accurately. And also, um, whoever's hands are crafting it um, need to be in the zone, as I call it. You can also not have it be um, welded because then the energy gets stagnant and it turns on you so you would feel bad instead of good. And yeah, I'll be glad to make another one or two or however many you want. Um, oh, and you were asking about biofeedback. Uh, it interacts with your aura, with your auric field. I don't know if you believe in auric field or not, but when um, when it's in your field and you something's wrong with you, your energy on the outside of your body shifts around, and this makes it turn back to its original healing um, uh, place. I guess that's the best I can explain it. Um, yeah, but like I said, let me know what you want and. Uh, we can move from there. I'm glad it's working. Oh, I remember why I gifted you that one. Um, remember, uh, you told me you were a nurse, and I thought if you go around people that are hurting, have you heard them say, oh, every time you come in, I feel better, and that kind of stuff, if you get within the auric field, it will impact them also. <laughs> So I was wondering if you have had any experiences with that where um, the pain is gone. It also works very quickly. Um, the quicker it works, I think, is if people touch it. Uh, if you're in the auric field, it may take a few minutes, um, but it's usually very, very fast. <laughs> I'd be curious to get the feedback. And I believe you had some of the dish organites. Have you noticed anything with them? Um, I I don't even know if you put them under your bed, but um, I just realized if you have one of those beds with coils, they may be interfering. So you may want to put them next to you on the nightstand or something. Oh, I'm rereading your notes here. Um, you were wondering about getting another version. Uh, you mean another frequency? Um, what are you trying to address? Uh, different frequencies have, <clears throat> excuse me, have different um, known uh, results. As long as it resonates with you, that's the only key. Sometimes I think something's going to resonate with a person and they might get three keys and then they end up finding out, oh, this other one is something else, da, 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 you know. <laughs> That uh, was sort of my response. <clears throat> and then he writes back, you're awesome. I want incre to increase my energy and frankly, want to increase my testosterone. 
as to be more potent sperm, increase or quality. Um, like a bracelet uh, made of the same energy or resonance. Yes, I totally believe in there being another layer uh, later. Well, he meant probably layer to us, but we are learning about our aura and chakras or biofield field. Um, and the dish organites um, gave me wild vivid dreams. <laughs> Um, came back from travel assignment and my sister threw them away. She didn't know what they were. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's really sad. So, um, well, I guess um, I gave out more information in gen general about there being other frequencies. Well, let me go back here. But this is also part of his feedback, which I thought was incredible. He's like, uh, and it wasn't just me, it was the whole family. We'd all be sleeping in the same bed and all wake up talking about our dreams <laughs> when they were removed. By, by they were removed, he means the dish organites, which some of them are back here. Um, when they were removed from the bedroom, no one has a dream from the, the same night. <laughs> That's interesting. And then we talked a little more. Uh, or I talked a little more and he gave me actual feedback here. About those dreams, there was a time that my son told me, hey dad, I was stuck in my dream and I couldn't come out. And that kept happen happening to me. So uh, me and him shared our dreams and how we were stuck inside them. We knew that we were in a dream, but we couldn't get out of the dream. They weren't bad dreams. It was just knowing that you are in a dream and can't get out. Uh, Wife and daughter didn't experience that, but I did, me and my son. So that's pretty much it. I just went to ask him about that. I wonder if that got resolved. Wow. Um, so do you think now that's over or did the dish organize help or that you were able to share about it? I'm just curious what um, happened after that. So this is the end of his feedback. I think he had to go to work or something. But still, um, pretty cool. Um, uh, my dish organites, depending on what goes in them, can be very small and simple like this one. This actually feels really nice. It has a frequency ring on the bottom. And you can connect your uh, left hand to the white part, which is the positive. And yeah, then you put a finger inside here. And that's the negative. And you basically connect... Um, actively to a dish organite that way. Some people meditate with this and um, I've been told that they get them into a mode of meditation very quickly whereas before they had to do their breathing techniques or whatever and it's like a few seconds, boom, you know. Uh, this is also what they can look like if you put a lot of biogeometric signatures in them and while they look a little rough and scuff, it's more about the results than the looks on this. And it's really hard to work with them. Like on something like this, I may work several days. So this is going to be priced quite higher than something like this. Then they can be in the receptive mode or in the broadcasting mode like this one here. Most of the ones I've sent out are in the receptive mode because people want to acquire something so that it's pulling in the good frequency. There's a ring down here be below. Um, this is, I think this was a 528. Anyways, and um, then the signatures are in between, in layered in between. Um, there is different um, metals, different uh, bionized crystals in there. So it all works um, synergetically, but it can turn out to be quite a heavy and big piece. Um, thank you for watching. Much appreciated. Um, these organites, dish organites, have a byproduct of um, uh, voltage because they have a lot of scalar energy. Most organites have almost nothing that you can measure. This can go to almost a half volt. I have made videos with them before. And there are certain ways you can moisten them, treat them and such. If you're interested in other video links, let me know and I'll try to search for them. Thank you and have a blessed day. Peace.